What's up everybody? Today we're making some air fryer steak bites. This is one of my favorite go-to recipes when I'm feeling lazy. Maybe I don't want to fire up my grill or maybe the weather is not cooperating to grill outside. This has to be the easiest and quickest way to uh, quickly cook up some delicious steak. Uh, my favorite cut of steak to use for this is top sirloin or like a petite sirloin. Uh, really any kind of sirloin steak is my favorite but like a New York uh, strip steak also works really well for this. And so what I'm gonna do is just take one steak. Uh, you don't wanna overload your air fryer when you're cooking these, so I usually just cook one steak at a time. I'm just gonna pat my steak dry, then I'm going to cut it up into bite-sized cubes. Then I'm just gonna throw it in a bowl and toss it with a little bit of uh, Primal Kitchen avocado oil, just a little bit, like a tablespoon or two. Uh, and then I'm going to simply season it with just a little bit of salt and black pepper. Most of the time I just keep it simple like that and then I'll serve it uh, with some kind of uh, dipping sauce. I love to dip these, so I'll serve these with some kind of Primal Kitchen barbecue sauce. I've got the classic today, but my favorite is probably the Hawaiian barbecue for dipping. But to cook these, I'm just going to preheat my air fryer. Uh, I'm gonna set the temperature for 400 degrees and just let it heat up for four or five minutes. And then once it's heated up, I'm going to toss my steak bites into the air fryer basket. And then I'm gonna cook these for about 10 to 15 minutes seems to be the sweet spot. Every air fryer is a little bit different, so uh, what you're gonna wanna do is just check it every five minutes or so and give it a little shake, see how it's looking. Uh, a meat thermometer comes in handy. You can use this and just stick your biggest piece of meat. Uh, 135 is the internal temperature of medium rare, so that's probably what you wanna look for. But after 10 or 15 minutes, there is my steak bites. Super easy, super delicious. I'm gonna serve this with my barbecue sauce and I've got a delicious quick meal in under 20 minutes. Today, I also wanna try a couple variations of my go-to steak bites. So I'm gonna do a teriyaki version. Uh, today, I've got the Primal Kitchen No Soy Island Teriyaki Sauce. The regular No Soy Teriyaki also works but I'm just going to do the same thing, cut up my steak, and I'm going to marinate my steak in the island teriyaki. Let that sit for a couple hours, and I'm also going to do a version uh, where I'm gonna marinate my steak in a little bit of the Greek and a little bit of the Italian Primal Kitchen dressing. I couldn't choose which one, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of both. Set that aside for a couple hours. And so for the Greek slash Italian dressing version, I'm also just gonna season this with salt and pepper and also a little bit of Italian seasoning. Throw those in my air fryer, cook them for 10 to 15 minutes. And look at that, those smell and look delicious. And then my teriyaki version, same thing. I'm gonna season with a little bit of salt and pepper and then throw them in my air fryer. And look at that, that looks beautiful. For the Greek and Italian steak bites, I toss a little bit of uh, fresh parsley on there and I'm gonna serve that with uh, some of the garlic aioli mayo for dipping. And then the, my teriyaki steak bites uh, would go really great with one of the barbecue sauces. I think today I'm gonna use the mango jalapeno barbecue sauce. And between the three versions, uh, my favorite was actually the teriyaki steak bites. Uh, the teriyaki sauce uh, gave it a little bit of a caramelization, which I really liked, but a lot of great flavor options, so you never get bored here with the steak bites. And if you want to pick up any of the Primal Kitchen uh, dressings or sauces you saw in this video, you can get them all at primalkitchen.com. If you use the code HELLO20, you can get 20% off your entire order. Just a little thank you for checking out our channel. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. I'm gonna try one of these. So good.